folks, something that's very difficult in our jobs is to make things that are rather stale be quite funny, which is brings me to the topic of withdrawal designs. Um, quite frankly, they're really simple. It's an A, B, A, B. You've seen those before if you've watched our videos in alphabetical order, A, B, A, B. Uh, why do we have a different one on it? Because people get confused between the term withdrawal and reversal design. Um, so withdrawal is, again, it's, a, it, it's an ABAB design. So it's an experimental design. Uh, and it's got a lot of experimental control with it, but we're going to withdraw a piece of treatment or all of it, right? There's some things that you might be able to reverse, but if that was the case, then it wouldn't be a withdrawal design. It would be a reversal design. People use them interchangeably. They shouldn't. Um, see other video, ABAB design, for some examples, but you could think of all sorts of stuff. We could think of a uh, treatment where we're trying to help our kiddos learn to learn to read. We could add some components to that. Uh, for the, it's a basic, it's a, um, Anyway, um, so uh, an example here, we could focus on kids learning to read. They could be doing the same old stuff that they're doing in the classroom, and then and that might not be working so well. Um, so we could add a component for that, and then we could test to see how well they're doing without that component by withdrawing the treatment. Then we go, ooh, they're not doing very well as the ba as the re return to baseline showed, so we put it back in place um, until they catch up with where they're supposed to be. So uh, that's an example of a withdrawal design. Thank you. Cheerio. Bye.